and welcome back to sallyhughesbeauty.com. So I'm still on my shoot for Pretty Honest, my book, and Mary Greenwell is still here, so lucky. Um, the next shot we're doing is how to look good in a picture. So I think Mary's going to be ramping things up a bit from the very natural look we did before, a bit more colour on the eyes and lips, but also bearing in mind what looks really, really pretty in a picture, and nobody knows more about what looks pretty in a picture than Mary Greenwell, so that's very exciting. Um, so over to Mary. So I'm going to just basically, yes, just increase the intensity of the makeup. Look down, my darling, and just bring out her features and Sally's beautiful eyes even more. First of all, I'm going to take the, my, my, my dear favourite pencil, um, which is the, just the garden. Best pencil Best in pencil. the world. Smoky brown pencil. Look down that way. I'm now going to get more of an intense line. I love that pencil. Yeah. I mean, you know what? I'm so used to working with this. It's like, it's like, a, it's like my best friend. This end is the best smudge, uh, smudge end ever. So I'm just going to smudge that in there. Take that through there. Okay, you can see, we've now, the, already, just with that, the eyes become more intense, okay? So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Look down towards me. All that was was brown pencil lifted and smudged in the roots of the lashes, look. Sally's eyes are starting to really pop. Great. Now, I'm now going to move on to eyeshadow. I'm going to, we used just a cream before. I'm now going to stay with this Tom Ford palette, seeing I started with it, and I love it anyway. I'm using the darker one. Close. Knock off the excess. I'm just going to put it along the, on top of the brown pencil. What's happened in modern makeup, I've found, is that everyone is using just the right amount of sparkle, shimmer, mm. whatever you want to call it, right? So everything has a life, because obviously that sparkle, shimmer will add dimension. So um, although I adore mattes, I think mattes are great. Um, these new colors often actually sort of do both. Mm. They, they're, they're matte enough to do what they're supposed to do, but alive enough to give the, the, sort of the energy. Mm. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lift this through here so that it becomes a little bit more smoky. And then through here, so it becomes more smoky. So it's not just on the lid where there's definition. I'm going to take it through onto the, onto the brow bone. Okay, so I'm going to first of all use, um, that was the darkest color. I'm now going to use this color. Okay, and define with that first and see if we need to use the darker color. Okay, through here, here we go. Don't go too into the inside corner, otherwise you'll make the eyes hourly and bring them together rather than bring them out. Now we can really play with the under, under, under eye now. I'm going to stay on this quite a big brush actually. Look up, I'm going back to the darker colour. I'm just going to use this underneath the eye all the way along. Just smudge it underneath using this big brush. I'm not looking for I'm not looking for sharpness anywhere in this makeup. I want it all to be soft and smoky and lovely. Same brush. Just bring the eye further out here. Look down, darling. Just take it up further here. Just on the outside corner. So, when the eye was a simpler makeup, you obviously need less of this colour to open the eye up. Mm -hmm. But now we have more colour over the whole, whole lid. We have to put more colour on this outside corner here to open the eye. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, gorgeous, smoky, wonderful. Now I'm going to go back to mascara. That was fast. Yeah, no, you know. It's, you are fast though, aren't you? I think I'm known to be fast, mm. yes. Look down that way. I also, you know, I really appreciate that, first of all, people don't have much time. We don't even have much time, darling, because we've yeah. got a lot to do today. Yeah. One. Two, I think people get really bored in the makeup chair. No matter what's going on, I think it's, an, it's, it's quite a boring place to be. And three, I prefer to work fast because it's in my nature. I'm one of those people that loves clumpy eyelashes. I do. Do you too? And by the way, I love... Yeah, they're so chic. They are. And you don't need eyelash colours, but if you did, this would have been... I would have used them before I put the mascara on, right? Mm -hmm. And then if you have very straight lashes, you can actually use them with mascara on them yeah. while the mascara is still wet. It just holds them, doesn't it? Yeah. And then you hold them then, okay? But if not, 
it look down that way. If you have, if your lashes curl, easily use it before because it's quite frightening when you use it after because you can actually hurt, pull your lashes out. Mm -hmm. So be very careful to open the lash curlers properly before you take them off. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll pull out your lashes if the lashes are at all wet. I'm going to use my Givenchy's because I love them. I do. I adore these little things. Okay, I'm going to use more of this one. Um. You know, there's always a balance with makeup, and because your eyes have got more intense, I'm just adding a little bit more bl blush through here. Again, it's not contour. Sally's got such great cheeks as we need it anyway. Just adding a bit more blush on this side, a bit more on this side here. This is for a picture, remember, so it has to be a balance. Great. Now, there's a powder I love, which is um, a Sensei powder. And it is called a Sensai Silky Highlighting Powder, okay? And it has just a little bit of shimmer in it. So now I'm going to use this. Just through here. Up onto the temple there. These are NARS multiples. I love them. And they're matte. So much nicer. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to use this, you, this again, you can use anywhere. I'm going to use it in our mouth. Just pout your mouth a bit, my sweet. Great, perfect. Not quite that much, a bit more relaxed. Great, just there. I quite like that colour. Do you like Do you? I do. Should we see? I'm just wondering whether we go for something a little bit more pink on top. Because okay. the great thing is we can always build, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me just put a little bit more of this on. Just slightly, slightly kind of pinky. You wear um, very pale, sort of neutral lip colours, don't you? Or red. Or red. Mm. I'm going to use actually a lip liner. I want to just blend this in all in because I'm not using a lip I'm not using a lip pencil. I want to blend this in. I'm using a different colour. I'm using this colour now. Okay, you can see that it's a perfect match. Get a nice soft edge to Sally's mouth. Oh, I love that lip. Do you, you love do, that? I do, I do. I like that. No, perfect. Great. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I love the eyes. Clever. Yes? Mm -hmm. Should we leave it there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to get out of my pyjamas because this makeup is wasted on my pyjamas. So I'm going to go and get changed and we'll see you on set. Actually, I'm going to have to stand back a bit. Stand back. Chin down. Oh, yeah.